the best custom room I have ever used in my primary device with Mi 11X. This is Mi 11X what I'm using right now and I tried a lot of custom rooms. I always try and use and explore them. And this is actually one of my favorite and also actually one of the best. This is Pixel Extended based on Android 13. The official version is what I'm talking about right now, which is the extended version 5.8 as you can see. Having the May 2023 security patch after using a lot of custom rooms as this is my primary device. So that's why I know that and that's why I'm talking about this one. Some of the things which are interesting about this one is the default launcher. Firstly, as you can see that at a glance widget and this Google search bar, these are modified. How? Because this is pixel launcher extended i didn't install it manually this is pre-installed although some features are missing for example the developer options what i was looking for unfortunately that's not present because it is pixel launcher extended so we have some more app grid options available sometimes i use six by six and sometimes i use five by five all these options are there but still we have a lot of extra options so yes it's it's up to you if you want to choose anything else or not also, if you're watching me from some time, I always mention that I love to use the light quick settings panel if I use light mode and if I use dark mode, I must have to use dark, dark quick settings panel. And in this case, this thing is right. For example, as you can see, we have the light quick settings panel as I'm using light mode. So this is here. Also, of course, I'm using kernel SU. Like if I use magisk, I have to hide that. I have to use universal safety net fix for that and some things like that. But right now in this case, as I'm using kernel SU, so which means I don't have to think about those safety net fixes. It's already fixed by default. But including that, you can see I have installed a module called small keyboard bar. And this is one of my favorite ones. I always use this. I always mention this. And this is also a thing which is included. Another thing about this custom room is the MIUI camera pre-installed. Although I'm not a fan of MIUI camera, but we have this pre-installed. So I, I think so I had to mention as if you are a user of Mi 11X and wanted to know about that which camera is pre-installed, this is what we have. I didn't install it manually. This is pre-installed. So yes, that's interesting. You can use this if you want to. It's totally up to you. As I sometimes use Gcam, so I don't think so it's useful for me at least. But that's why I just want to talk about only. Uh, we also have the Dolby Atmos pre-installed. Like in some custom homes, you know that Dolby Atmos is not pre-installed. But in this case, almost everything what you need is available. Also, I didn't got any major bugs or major performance issues. Almost everything was working fine for me at least because according to me, this is one of the best ones right now. Uh, that's why I'm using. And by the way, let me clarify, this is one of the best Please think about it. One of the best doesn't mean that this is the best because things might be different in your case, but this is one of the best actually. You can see this is not a customization focused custom room. It's having some features although, but like Instant OS, Spark OS, those, those custom rooms are actually having a lot of customizations. But in this case, only few of the things are available to customize. For example, you have the network traffic monitor, which I always use, which should be included in almost every custom room. It's here. We have the option to customize the quick settings panel, by the way, this is interesting. We have the option to customize the quick settings panel. We have the options related to lock screen customizations like wake on plug and the double tap to sleep. If you use that by any chance or display media cover art, some of the features which you might expect in a custom room are already present here some theming options include font customizations icon back customizations you can even customize the lock screen clock fonts if you want to and that ignore windows secure flags of course you can get this thing by default by using some modules but if it is available by default then you can use that including that some of the options related to control playback and else which means every useful thing which you were looking for is present here at last, we also have the battery performance because a lot of you were considering about battery performance that it, it might be a device specific review. That's what I'm talking about. This is my battery stats, almost three hours of screen on time and 54% still left. And also my brightness is always more than 80%. I always use light mode. I always use Wi-Fi, 5G, both. So I think so. This is not a bad battery backup. So all these things I just wanted to let you know I have already shared with you and this was my experience about this Pixel Extended. If you want to install this custom room on your Mi 11X, link is already available in the description. By the way, Mi 11X, Redmi K40 and Poco F3 all are same. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.